in BODS. Many a times you will get source data as a flat file and sometimes you will have to upload the data into flat file as a tag. So we'll see what are the options available to consume the data in flat file and to update the data in flat file. When you use flat file format as a source, there is more of a formatting requirement which you have to do and follow. And it's better to have a sample file ready while creating a job. What happens when you have flat file as a target? Less formatting is required and you need not have a sample file with you. So we'll see how we can consume flat file and how we can have flat file as target as well. So this is the BODS designer. Here in format section, we have flat file options. I will right click and say new. It's a delimited file and I can name it as ff underscore cust master. So this customer master data I'm creating and you can leave these option as it is. Location data files from where you want to pick the data. There are many options for timing. We'll choose local, but at times you have active locations which you want to choose that you can choose whenever it is required for timing. We will have local as option because we have our data in local folders. So let's see what kind of data we have. So if I go to this folder, I have my data is part one. So this is the data I have in part one file, customer name, name and country, customer number, name and country. So this is how the data is stored. Let's try to pick this sample file. I will select the folder. This is my folder. Okay. And now I will select the file. Part one is my file. And it is asking, shall I override the schema? So right now it is has only one field. So I will say yes. And you can see the schema has overwritten by three fields. I see that header has come. Normally, once you have the tables in place, you need not have or need not create headers each time you run a job. So for timing, what I will do is in this section, I will say skip the first row. So I can from zero, I will change it to one. Press any other key. The header has vanished and now I have field one, two and three. Here in this section, I can change the field size. So it may happen for future data. There might be customer with bigger name. So I can just say 10 here. I can also change data type here if I want, but I will keep as it. So this is how you create the flat file format for your data. Here you can see I have comma separated file and row is by new line. So these are the option which you have to use while creating a flat file format for source. So I will save and close. I can see the data has come here. I will save and close this. The so name is FF customer underscore master. This is done. I will go back to my initial job. This is the job we had. This is the workflow. I can just simply drag one more data flow and keep it here. I did not name it. I will just keep it and by default system assign one unique name. So I'll double click here and drag this cust master here. I will make it as a source. And again, now I will dump into a template table. So I will say customer is the table name the same data store with the same owner and I will just put a query here in between these two and we'll connect them so we'll see what we have here so we have three fields here we don't have any fields in the target so we'll again assign it as a one-time effort you may have to change the name here so we'll just say customer number I have named my table as customer number, name and country as columns. So let's go and now we can run this job and load the data. So right click and execute. I'll say yes. The job is running and job is completed. So let's go to data flow and view the data. The data is available from the part one file, which was this. This is the data we got from the file. Now I will show you how to load multiple files. So we have two files here in this folder, part one and part two, where we have Google as a third customer. So what we can do is I can go to the same file format and change part one 
txt to star txt. I will say save. Now, now data has gone because we haven't mentioned a particular file, but it is a set of file. So I will say save and close. So here I will again drag and drop it. This is source and map it. So once you delete the object and remap it, the mapping remains. It doesn't go away. So let's load the data now. I will just run the job. Job is completed. Let's see the data. So we have all the three records available with us in the target table. So that's how you use single file or multiple file as a source to update the data into target table and read the data from a text file. Next section we'll see how to use flat file format as target.